what's up guys, welcome back for another video. Today we will be making pineapple cakes from scratch. If you're worried about your luggage becoming overweight with the sheer amount of pineapple cakes that you're going to bring home from Taiwan, because it's true, you need to give this recipe a try. Let's head out to the video. To start with our pineapple cake, we're gonna need a pineapple. So you need to peel and cut the pineapple. Just make sure to remove the eyes, then chop them up into little pieces. What we're going to do is to blend this off in a blender since we don't have a food processor. And then we're just going to stop midway so that it's still a little bit chunky since that's what we're going for. I highly encourage a food processor. It would be a lot more easier than a blender since you can't pulse or control the blade as much. Once we have our puree, we're going to boil them over low heat until they are a little chunkier or thicker. My tip is if you have a cheesecloth, do try to wring out about half of the juice out so that you'll save enough time. Because we didn't have any cheesecloth, we had to boil these over for about 30 to 40 minutes. Just make sure to watch over it and stir every once in a while to prevent it from burning. Let me just say, it's not the most entertaining part of the video. Nor is it an exciting part of the day. Once the puree is thick, add 4 tablespoons of muscovado sugar, 3 tablespoons of honey, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Continue to stir until it looks thick and caramelized. Then add 1 teaspoon of butter. Once combined, adjust the flavor to your preference and remove from the heat. Not bad. Well, we added an extra tablespoon of honey, so super sweet. sweeter than expected, but not bad. Not bad. Transfer the puree to a different bowl and let it cool completely. To start with the dough, we need to cream one and a half sticks of butter. Beat it until it's fluffy and light. Then sift in half a cup of powdered sugar, four tablespoons of powdered milk, and an optional one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. Then add two tablespoons of condensed milk. Sift in two cups of cake flour and one teaspoon of salt. Then mix again. Just be careful of overmixing to get that flaky texture. Gently form into a dough and use a clean wrap to cover the dough and have it rested for about 30 minutes. Then this is the more challenging and fun part. We need to form the actual pineapple cake. So it's been 30 minutes, our dough is ready. Our jam or filling is also kind of hardened a little bit, so it's now thicker. Our puree is thick, but since we didn't get most of the juice out, it's still liquidy than we preferred. That's why I highly recommend having a cheesecloth, but if you don't, this would still do. Then I have a couple of molds with me. I have four big ones and six small ones. The dough smells good. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to form a small ball using the dough as big as you want it to be and then after a while just press in and try to add the filling inside. Try to close it in like you're filling up a dumpling. I decided to call for backup. Uh -huh. But it's not as easy as you think it is. At this point, we decided to ditch the molds and try to mold them as we can by hand. At this point, just let your creativity fly to whatever shape or size you want. For Sky, he decided to make a dumpling pineapple cake. So yeah, this turned out to be a great date idea after all. So we've decided to let the molds go because it's a little bit hard to put them in the containers. So 
So we just decided to make different kinds of like rectangular shapes that probably, hopefully looks like a pineapple cake and hope that it doesn't get smashed or distorted. So still have a lot of pineapple paste. So there's still a lot. We could use this as a jam. So probably use that somewhere else. Then we will let this sit for a couple of minutes and then heat them in the oven 10 to 15 minutes on one side, then hopefully flip them and pray that it won't just get destroyed. Um, then bake for another 10 minutes. Then bake it in the oven, preheated to 180 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Then flip them over carefully for another 10 to 15. These are best enjoyed one to two days later, so store them in an airtight container. At room temperature, they'll stay fresh for about three to five days and in the fridge up to seven days. And it's the next day. We have the pineapple cakes chilled overnight. I think it looks pretty good. A little burnt on top, not gonna lie, but I think it's pretty decent. <laughs> I think it's pretty good for a first timer, for someone who doesn't bake. This is pretty awesome. Fla uh, it's a little crumbly, more cl crumbly than yes, flaky. Yeah. So I would have preferred if it was flakier. Yeah, use a processor as well as kind of drain whatever liquid that's left. So we tried to boil everything down because, and then I lost patience because it was like 30 minutes, more than 30 minutes of boiling the pineapple puree but if you could if you have a cheesecloth try to drain out as much as you can then fry it with the sugar and try to caramelize it I think that would be better for you easier to wrap it up with a dough as well as it makes it feel less jam like if you miss Taiwan if you need more pineapple cakes than what you've bought this is a good alternative it's a good try that's it. Thank you for watching. If you're going to try this, share your results with me and let me know how it goes. Remember to like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!